All right, we got a, a 2024 Audi RS6 here. Um, what we're gonna do is be removing the door handles. The front and the rear are kind of the same concept, but we're just gonna do the uh, rear. We've already removed the front. Um, basically, very simple thing to do, but if you don't know the little trick, um, it could be a headache. So I got my, my tape, I got a T15 um, uh, uh, pick tool, and then a utility knife. This isn't necessary, but I like it, and you'll see why here in a second. And then I have some uh, fishing line and you'll see why we need that. So first you wanna take your T15. Um, you wanna remove this little cup right here. I just kinda of get my nails under. It's nothing major, just a little pry. Um, I like to set my tools or set my parts on the ground. So if you look in there, there is a T15 screw. We're gonna put the tool in there like that. Let me get on this side. Um, I always put the door handle out. I'm gonna rotate this a good 10, 15 times until it stops. The screw's not gonna actually remove out of the door. And once it stops, um, you're gonna actually push it forward. And that's the trick right there. You wanna make sure you push it forward. Now, once you push that forward, it's gonna release this. So I'm gonna pull the door handle out and I'm gonna take this little nub out. And that's the main trick is in making sure that you push the T15 forward so it releases that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this door handle while it's out and slide it forward. We're gonna move the front part of it. Just make sure when you're doing this to not pull on it too hard because there is some wires there that you're gonna have to disconnect. So what I do is I shimmy it back and then forward and you'll feel it give. Gotta give it a little force, but don't give it too much. You don't wanna break anything. And then I'm gonna let that dangle like that. I'm gonna take this pick tool. I'm gonna go to my first clip. I'm gonna release it. And then make sure, cause it's gonna hit that back to lift it up. Cause if not, I was sitting there the first time and it kept bumping. I was like, why well, won't this release? And then this, this one, you wanna take the red part and just put that up. You'll see a click and then you can press it down and then a release. Now this is another very important step. We're gonna take our tape. Kind of, you should probably have your tape ready, but I didn't. So we're gonna take our tape just temporarily because you don't want to lose these plugs. If you lose these plugs, it is hell. You're gonna literally have to take apart the door panel and remove all type of stuff in order to get that plug and get access to those plugs. So this is where the string comes in. Like a nice piece, and I take this utility knife. We need to grab two, two of these. So after we grab these, take that first plug. And the reason I put the tape there is you don't have a whole lot of play, and like I said, you don't want these to get lost in the door. If you get these lost in the door, you're gonna have to remove the door panel. Um, on this particular application, we're gonna be wrapping the car. So I can't have these plugs exposed at all because we're gonna wrap the whole surface. So what I do is I tie a couple knots. You can tie as many as you want. I, I do at least like three. Because if we're gonna end up pushing these back in the door and when you have to fish them out, you don't wanna have to, um, you don't want your string to come undone. So at least couple knots. Okay, so there's that. Let me take a little piece of my tape and hold him down. The reason I do that, because like I said, these, you don't, they don't give you a lot of room. And you don't want to lose these in the door. So now we're going to tape the second plug. To, And I always tape by the wire, tape on the actual wire, not the head of the connector. Cause I feel like if you tape the connector and you got a tug on it, it could potentially come undone. All right, we're almost finished you guys. 
two. We're going to put three knots. All right. Now we have both of our wires tape. I kind of yank on, make sure it's tight. It's not going to come unravel. Like I said, you do not want to have to go on this door panel. It's not fun. So now we're gonna feed these wires back into the door panel, like so. And then I take my tape, do something like this. Tape these together. Do that. And then I'm gonna take one more little piece of tape. Just the trick. I'm gonna let this go in there, like so. The reason we're doing this is because we want this out of the way while we're wrapping the door. Because the wrap's gonna cover the surface. So I do that. And then I'm gonna take my tape one more time. I know this is overkill, but like I said, it's very important that you don't lose these plugs in the door because it's a lot. So now I take these wires, just kind of double back loop, more tape, stuff those in there, and we're good. And now what I have is a little loop so I can just fish that out when I'm ready. And that is how you take off a door panel and secure the wires. Now it's ready for install.